Well, I want to give you a little strategy here because uh, one of the best things you could do is disobey. Now, I don't, I'm not talking about this BS, civil disobedience, get out there and march and blah, blah, blah. Nah, there's a lot of different ways you could do it, you know? Hey, no one rules, <laughs> no one obeys, right? And, but the thing is, when you disobey, I really shouldn't be, you know, for me telling you this, it's putting me at risk. I, that's why I don't even want to tell you this. But the way you disobey is you kiss their ass and you disobey and they can't figure out you're disobeying. Okay? I'm giving you kind of like ideas over there, which is like how the men of honor came about in the first place, right? You know, how did the things come about in the first place? Because, well, you know, they had too much oppression on certain places and people had to just, you know, establish justice. It always comes about. But, you know, you know sometimes when you openly disobey, you're setting yourself up and you don't get anything done. That's why you got to do it sneaky, okay? <laughs> but, you know, they're always trying to program you. Like, Dude, yeah, you got to obey everything. You got to, you got to, you're, everybody in charge is the best people. F, ask, I'm giving you a base. You know, one of the things I can tell you honestly, I'm a person, I never watch any freaking dumbass movies. You know, you couldn't freaking pay me to go to a freaking theater. You couldn't even pay me. I used to get... Like cable, did 200 channels, 500 channels. That was years ago, more than a decade ago. I hated it. You know, I, I, it's like, what do you want to do? Give me a thousand channels of shit? I don't want to watch it. So I don't think I'm really like conditioned to a lot of stuff, you know. And actually, I've been wise to a lot of stuff way before the internet's been around. And I didn't really get into computers till I got out of the, uh, the suck, as you call it, you know. <laughs> And so I didn't even know anything about computers even in the mid-90s, you know, until the late 90s. So I wasn't even on the Internet, you know. But I knew all the stuff and all the stuff that was going on. You know, there's such a thing as paper. But, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you something else that's going on. In Afghanistan, you wouldn't believe this crap. And this is another example where people ought to disobey. But tell your commander-in-chief what he wants to hear. Yeah. You know, I'm just putting this out here, general information, but you know what Mr. Commander-in-Chief Obama said? He does not want any of the troops in Afghanistan to fire on the Taliban unless they're being fired upon first. And some general is complaining about this. I'm thinking, dude, <laughs> you know what? Just give everybody silencers. Did you hear anything? I didn't hear nothing. I don't know. Well, wait a minute. Now they're shooting back at us because we hit them with silencers, of course, right in the head. And, you know, now it's the survivors are shooting back at us. Wait a minute. They're shooting at us first. We could hit them. You know, play games. You know, I mean, I wish I was running Vietnam back when because I would have said, yeah, the rules of engagement. Okay. Sure. Anyway. But, you know, you can't be open about it. And But I got, I'm just going to tell you this stuff in a flipping way on this video. Because, you know, that's really the whole game. Disobedience, but don't be stupid on how you do it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're God, you know, sure. <laughs> no problem, sir. We got it taken care of. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. I understand the orders perfectly, sir. You know, carry them out. Carry out your orders like you're supposed to. Mm hmm. Okay. Next. Now, I got more respect. Now, this picture I had to edit out because these girls. It's very hard to find pictures with feminine without nipples on it. No one would hear, like, drawing over their nipples, so hopefully YouTube don't get all pissed off. But, you know, I filled them in, right? You know, like, uh, human breasts, big deal. But these girls, I kind of like and respect, even though they're crazy, you know? I like them because they don't freaking listen to nobody. This is kind of how you got to be. This bad, you know? It's like all traditions, everything. Just throw it the hell out the window. You know, because these guys on the top, they're playing you left and right. They use religion to control you. And 99.99% .99 of the people on the top, it's all, they're not into religion. They just use religion as a tool to control the masses. Uh, and, you know, obviously it's not former religion that is really right and wrong. Everybody knows what right and wrong is, right? Uh, I'm not going to knock religion, but then again, 
I don't like it as a tool of controlling the masses. You see, that's where I'm coming from. But, you know, I kind of like these girls, these women ought to be in Afghanistan and give them weapons because they'd be like, yeah, okay, sure, we'll take care of it. You know, they'll be showing the Taliban their boobs and they'll be like distracting them and go, ugh. And when they go, oh, they shoot them right behind the eye, right behind the ears, you know, ear, eyes, whatever, so what, you know? Disobedience, that's what you got to do. But you got to be sneaky about it, okay? Sneaky means you kiss all the rats, you go by all the rules, and you're saying you're doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, <laughs> don't let them know nothing, man. Don't let them know nothing. Because they're counting on you uh, as being a good slave. You don't want to be a slave. And that doesn't mean I'm not talking about not working, okay? Everybody's got to work really, really hard to get the shit they need, right? But I'm, I'm talking about being an obedient slave. You don't want to be that. You want to be an independent, hardworking, entrepreneur, 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 because being an entrepreneur is actually dangerous. You, you know, you never know really the future. You got to make it work, and you could fail, even no matter how good you try, you know? But that's the whole game right there. It's not being like, I'm going to be a lazy ass, sit on the ground hippie, you know, because I never liked those bastards, for to tell you the truth. But I understand about, you know, some of these coneheads that freaking got to obey every damn rule. You're like, you know, this is in Germany or something, you know? Disobedience, I mean, you got to have rules for certain things, yes. But then again, this game player is like, you know, the the Bush family to push the Patriot Act and blew up freaking Building 7 and all this crap. You know that was all set up, right? I mean, you know, they get, they're coming down with too many rules, so you gotta disobey. I mean, for Afghanistan, and they're telling you not to shoot the wet enemy, well, you put a silencer on your weapon. I didn't hear nothing, you know? Hey, do you hear any weapons going off now? I, you know, it was a little pop, pop, pop. I don't know what that was. Truck backfiring? I don't know. They started firing back at us. Oh, look, they started it. Okay, fine. So there you go. You know, you got to play the game. You got to play along with the little bullshit, but you got to disobey. Don't be, you know, it's, sometimes it's stupid to be openly disobedient. I am not too, I, I just think that's a bad freaking um, strategy. And I don't even like telling you this because it's leaving me open to stuff. You know, I don't like telling people this shit because it leaves me open, but I, I realize you can't be freaking going along with the bullshit all the time. I'm not saying to disobey because I'm lazy. I'm saying disobey because the bastards on the top are Nazis, you know? You don't have to obey them. Um, now, as far as... I'm going to get on to something here. You know, it looks like Jeb Bush... You wouldn't believe this. I don't know if this is correct, but I got some latest news. I've been scanning all the news out there, and I got to filter through all this garbage because a lot of people are liars. And you know, I look at the alternative media, and they're like, eh, they're drama freaks." Uh, but it may be that Jeb Bush is in number two position in New Hampshire, right behind Trump. And I'm like, "How the hell did he do that?" Well, former CIA director Daddy Bush, you know that family, you don't know, get anything done, right? Maybe. It might be. Now, they dropped some dimes on Marco Rubio that, you know, he was in a bubble, phone parties and gay parties or something in um, Miami. Then they, then they dropped some dimes that he was a, a tra tra not a drag, a transgender, not a transgender, but drag. He was dressed in drag. And it dates with uh, some former, uh, what the hell was it? I don't know if this is all true or not. You know, it's some crap they're posted on the internet. Maybe it's not true. You know, it's a rumor. I'll tell you that, right? I'll show you an alleged picture of what the guy looks like. But I'm going to tell you something else. I knew good information way back when from way over 15 years ago. We had Mr. H.W. here. And, you know, none of this stuff ever gets out because all these politicians could get me slammed on, you know, sexual things they do. Like Bill Clinton was one. Hillary Clinton's another one. Um, Obama was involved in the gay stuff. There's like a lot of just videos on YouTube about Michelle that she's uh, used to be Michael 
Michael or something. She's a transsexual or something. And, you know, that's on YouTube, right? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't even know if that's... Well, I think that probably is true with her because of the body proportions and, uh, you know, the finger and all the fingers and stuff, whatever the hell it is. That, that video looks pretty legit. But Herbert Walker, uh, and they even had this, like, one of these things a long time ago where the Republicans, you're all Christian, right? You're conservatives. They were um, involved in some... Um, male prostitution ring or something in Boston, and there's been reports and stuff even from people that I think were very legit that Herbert Walker Bush preferred young, gay, um, teenage black males. So here he is pumping his fist. You know what he was doing with that? <laughs> Herbert CIA Walker Bush, man. So and I'm being really over the top on this damn video, so, you know, whatever, YouTube, you know, enjoy it. Uh, freaking, they're going to freaking freak out, but who cares? You know, I'm just telling you what the hell's up, man, because they're all full of shit, okay? All of them. I mean, Trump is pretty normal with this stuff. Now, he likes some really hot blondes, but then again, you know, I don't know about that guy either. I think they're all BS, to tell you the truth. This is America right here. Here's the Coliseum. Basically, America's kind of a shell, man. We got, it could go back really fast, though. It could, and you know what? It's not going to be so because you elect somebody. It's because people just start doing stuff. Um, just learn some skills, learn anything, do anything. You know, even if it's like a bunch of little bullshit. I mean, I, I kind of like did a video on some little bullshit I was doing today, but it was a lot more little bullshit. I didn't like film everything I was doing, just little tidbits of things. But um, I'm constantly freaking doing a lot of different shit. I don't like, you know, sit there and watch the game. I don't, I don't watch any sports. I don't, you know, none of that shit. It's like constructive stuff, you know. And I don't get brainwashed by any freaking Hollywood movies. I couldn't tell you anybody who the damn actresses and actors are. I don't know who the hell they are. But this is, you know, America has gotten away from its industrial roots. And, you know, it's not going to be like somebody up there is going to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to bring back all the industry back in America. You know what? Uh, cottage industry, man. If anybody does anything on their own, just little shit, even if they can go out and they can, I don't know, they could do anything, uh, you know, for repairing houses or something, putting the, cleaning the leaves off the gutters or something, trimming trees, whatever, you know. People can do stuff. They don't want to do it. A lot of people just don't want to do stuff. You could, have, you know, any anybody, I mean, any woman out there, if you want, you know, oh, this is demeaning. It clean houses or some shit for crying out loud. A lot of people just won't do it. You know, they play games. So I mean, that could be America, right? America can go right back to wait, you know, because when the hard times come, it's gonna get it's gonna get strained out. I, you know, that's why I'm not buying this doom and doom and gloom is coming because. People have gotten lazy and lethargic. That's why it's going down. But it ain't going to go down forever. It's not going to be, you know, it'll snap back a lot faster. Now, now, as far as the president goes, I'd vote for this hooker right here. This is a prostitute, okay? I personally wouldn't mind a woman president, but I just don't want Hillary Clinton. And, you know, it's not even that she's, you know, a lesbian or she plays around a woman or whatever. She's a bitch. She's an asshole. I mean, that's all. I'm going to put it to you right that way. And it's not because she's a strong woman. She's, she's not a strong woman. She doesn't even like people, man. I would rather see a prostitute that's been through the ringer, that likes men, <laughs> that likes people, be the president. I'd be fine with that. I know the Christians would go nuts on that, but I'd vote for a prostitute for president over practically... I guess at anybody that's left that's running for president, I take a, I take a prostitute for president any day. She's a woman; it's fine, you know. I think maybe my great great grandmother was a prostitute. The guy that was, whoever the hell it was that that Duke Albert Edward joined up with, I know she was some courtesan someplace, you know. <laughs> so that would have been my great grandfather's mother. You know, one side was a duke, the other side was a courtesan prostitute. I mean, I don't give a damn. I really don't care. I mean, maybe I'm going over the top on this video, but I don't really give a shit about all these societal freaking, you got to be this way, you got to be that way. But I do believe in, like, discipline and structure, hardcore, like what's right and wrong. 
but not delegated to me by some religious figure, you know? I mean, even Jesus, like, you know, forgave the prostitutes and all this other garbage, right? If you want to use him, but I don't even need to use his example. I already realize what the deal is. Now, I want to go over something else here because there's been these conspiracy freaking bloggers out there talking about all this bullshit. This is a chart of off a of Deagle. I don't know. If, I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's off their site, and so I'm, hopefully I'm not plagiarizing or anything, but i got to show you what the hell I'm talking about. This guy was saying, well, let me just refer to you this. This is the USA, right? They're talking in here in 2015, or maybe this was as of 2014, you got 318, 990, or 890 million people, right? I mean, 890,000 people. 319 million people in the United States. They're forecasting by 2025 that the population is going to be below 65 million. You're going to lose about 80% of the people. Now, I'm not doubting that there's probably going to be some kind of population reduction, especially due to exodus, if the government collapses or gets whittled down a lot. I think, you know, it's written in the cards with this freaking $19 trillion worth of debt and the trade imbalances and stuff. <laughs> Something's going to happen in the USA. No doubt about it. But I don't know if it's going to be this drastic, even though this is not a conspiracy site, this is a serious military site, but maybe it will be, I don't know. But this dude was like freaking putting out this thing, hey, Obama wants to kill everybody in 2016, and here's the chart that shows it. And I'm looking at this chart, I'm saying, what the hell are you talking about? He didn't show the top part of it. It's about the orders. It's about the importer orders and exporter orders. Well, of course they ain't got the 2016 freaking damn orders in because this chart is like a year or so old. It has nothing to do with the population. But this guy puts out a video, and he's telling you the population is going to be way down here in 2016. He's going to kill 80. Obama's going to kill 80% of the people in the USA. And it was a serious YouTube video or serious. It's freaking. I'm like, you know, you know there's more problems. <laughs> as it is without these but you know what that's the stuff that gets views right and you know what that tells me people are idiots I mean this stuff is not like not true it's not like you know we're not going into you know it's not uh, you know it's not a fairy tale that we're going into hard times and I think we're going into such hard times because if you look that you know like in the 1930s there was actually millions of Americans that starved that's a reality, even though they don't tell you that. But it ain't going like, you know, this is about the export-import orders, which they don't even know what they are until, because this is old information. This was taken back, I think, in 2014. So they don't know what the hell the future orders are yet. I mean, it may drop. This is the orders. This isn't the population. The guy was presenting it as the population. Well, then again, this chart, even on Deagle.com, does say the population is going down by 80%. A large amount of that being due to um, immigration, people leaving. But also, the places they're going to be going to, they're going to be going down. There's going to be a lot of death. That's what they're predicting. Could be. I don't know. That could be, though, because nobody knows how to grow food anymore. So, you know, there could be some... I think there's truth to it, but I don't think it's as true as... You know, some people are saying. So that's the thing that's bugging me about some of this stuff because on one side, you got people who are totally denying it. And then you got on the other side, you got told people who are totally exaggerating it. You know, you got on, you know, talking about the flat earth. I'm like, holy shit, what the hell's the matter with these people? Flat earth? Is that something you just put out there is to make everything else that people say that might be, uh, people might not believe look ridiculous too? Is that why you put out flat earth theory? So because then, you know, if you say something else that, you know, they're, they're planning to do this. Oh, well, isn't it going along with flat earth? I mean, you know what I mean, right? They're trying to, like, to put something so outlandish out that nobody believes even the stuff that could, that is probably, probably true. So they, that's, that's the way disinformation works. But, um... You know, I think the people that will survive, though, if there's ever even a major calamity, is like, for one, the Amish in Pennsylvania. I don't think they're going to have a problem. 
They're probably gonna do more business because they grow they grow their own food. But anybody out west that lives in a place like this, you know, they ain't gonna have a problem. They're not gonna have a problem. That's all there is to it. Now, so this is uh, supposed to be. Um, I'm still gonna say Ted Cruz, but no, not him. Um, <laughs> Marco Rubio. I don't know if this is him or not. Maybe, maybe not. Somebody says there's a whole bunch. But supposedly, you know what? If the guy builds a wall and he, he likes to dress like this and he builds a wall, I'll vote for him. How's that? <laughs> I don't give a shit. You know, what I'm looking at here is, you know, if Bush got in, Bush is supposedly Jeb Bush per daddy. You know, his, his help with daddy. He's got number two position now, supposedly, in New Hampshire. I hope that's wrong. But now there's all of a sudden the polls are saying he's in number two position. And, you know, Ted Cruz is down here. And uh, was it John Bohm? Bo- what the hell is that? Did Case? Case? Casial? Casial? Whatever the hell his name is. One from Ohio. I don't know what the hell. You know, he's another jerk that has no freaking bearing on anything. And uh, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, they're all down. Real, real low in the polls, and Jeb Bush is number two. Well, actually, all those guys want, um, they're fine with, you know, open borders. And I'm like, dude, you know, I got more problem with this guy with the open borders than him wearing a dress. And actually, he looks more, if this is him, I don't know if it is, you know, that's what he said it is. If it is, he looks more like a woman than Michelle, which I think in reality, if you look at those YouTube videos, you know, I'm going to get in trouble on this shit with Michael Michelle Obama. And you know Obama was raised by a transsexual, right? His nanny. Did you know that? He was raised by a transsexual, and his father in Hawaii or something, his male guardian was a... used to go with young boys and shit, and I don't know what the hell. The guy was raised to be a freak from day one, you know? So it's probably true, right? But, you know... How come they don't bring all this stuff out about Obama or, or Herbert Walker Bush or Bill Clinton or, um, you know, uh, Hillary Clinton? They don't, they don't say nothing, but then they bring it out on this guy. I'm like, whatever. I don't know what the deal is. So, yeah, maybe the Illuminati don't want him, right? Maybe there's something wrong with him they don't like. I don't know what it is. I mean, you know, why the hell do they bring out the rumors on some people but then again it might be the Bush family that's doing this stuff because they want that power which also if you really think this through why do they want the power if the United States population is going to go down uh, 80% you know according to Deagle.com the metal military site by 2025 and our military is going to be like a military budget is going to be a tiny fraction of what it is today. Why do they want to be in charge of that? I mean, you could say, well, they just want to bring usher in the new world order, but what are they getting out of it? I don't get it. You know, I don't get it because, you know, <laughs> if China goes up, I mean, for the last time I heard, I mean, I don't think the Bushes speak Mandarin, you know, and they're not going to be very popular with the Chinese Communist Party, and the Chinese Communist Party is going to be calling the shots in the world, right? So why are they doing that? So something doesn't add up with all this deal, because I, I think we're going into hard times. Shit's going to be pretty bad, but it's not going to be as bad as the freaks are saying. But then again, it's, it's you know, it could be really smooth if everybody just says, first, you know, most of the people getting screwed over is excess government regulations. Ever try to just go start a small business or something? Hey, you got workers' comp, you got uh, commercial liability insurance. You have, you know, if you have an office someplace, you got to have, you know, compliance with the W-9s. You got to, uh, excuse me, the I-9s. Anybody you, that you're paying, you got to do the W-9s for. You got to have the workers' comp on them and uh, commercial liability insurance. You got to comply with all the OSHA safety laws, the fire inspections. You got to install sprinklers in your freaking office and stuff. Maybe you got to have a burglar alarm. You got to watch your employees that they don't steal and they're freaking doing work. You got to have the stupid Obamacare, you know, affordable health care insurance. You got to pay to real freaking Social Security and Medicare. You know? It's ridiculous. <laughs> and <laughs> you can't.
can't pay anybody under the table because it's illegal. That's why, you know, I got respect for hookers. They don't do any of this stuff. They're just entrepreneurs. So, if, you know, if they, anybody could fix the economy, it would be a hooker. So I would, would vote for a hooker. Maybe, you know, actually he was a hooker, supposedly. I don't know if this is him. Who knows? So, but if he builds a wall, I'd be okay with him, you know? As long as he builds a wall, a moat, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> anything, anything. A moat would be okay, you know? <laughs> a drawbridge with a moat, you know, whatever, you know? You can come across the drawbridge if you got, we know who you are. <laughs> so, that would be, you know, I don't really, you know, I'm not, I'm not that conservative in a, in a lot of ways. And I'm, I don't get bent out of shape about, you know, some of the stuff that, you know, the real religious people do. Uh, but I do know there's like a right and wrong and stuff. I do all realize that. But it's like, you know, I'm not really, I'm not that right wing actually in some ways. But I also realize I got no respect for the freaking type of people that are just, well, this guy's freaking yo-yo, man. <laughs> He ain't even his his sons are worse though. He looks like a saint compared to his sons, but uh, you know I got no respect for people like that are hippies though in a lot of ways too, because it's like you know yeah I agree with disobedience to like the Nazi regime and a bullshit like that yeah definitely, but I also think people ought to be disciplined and work very hard and be industrious and productive. And that requires you got to go by a set of rules or code. <clears throat> you just can't have haphazard, just do anything. You got to have work ethics, which to me, disobedience means you disobey the Nazi garbage. You disobey Sharia law. <laughs> you eat pork burgers every day, you know, whatever. Uh, so, like I do, you know. So, you know, I mean, I actually got more respect for these crazy chicks over here than I do Hillary Clinton by a million miles. I'd probably, I'd be fine even with one of these feminine girls in the office. I know these people like saying, oh, it's the first woman president. No, that's the first witch if she ever gets in there. I don't know. That would be the first witch of the West or the East or whatever she's from or Illinois. But uh, you got to disobey. And even when you're in the military, you got to disobey. But you can't be open about disobeying, especially if you're in the military. You're going to be sneaky as all hell. you got to play like, uh, you know, uh, yeah, okay, I was obeying, yeah, sure, what What do you mean, you know? you got to play it off really good. And, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you, though, actually, when I look at it like you know, some of our leaders are treasonous, I think, to our nation. Um, like Obama is, I think, is treasonous to our nation. I think Jeb, Jeb Bush is going to be if he gets in there. I hope he don't. Um, George Bush, I think, was a piece of garbage. Bill Clinton was a piece of garbage. I mean, actually, I, I, the only last one I think was good was JFK. I don't even like Reagan that much. You know, I suppose he was a big conservative hero. And I'm like, he was a bunch of cute talking speeches. Uh, so, you know, what a but I, I realize you got to disobey, but you can't be stupid about it. You can't be direct frontal assault. You know, like the, the Koch brothers got the tea party now, right? You know, the Koch brothers, the Koch brothers. You know, it's spelled C O C O C H. The Koch brothers. They got the tea party and they own the Republican Party, right? They say, no, nah, nah, the tea party with Ted Cruz. Trans Pacific Partnership. Ted Cruz, whatever that is, you know? Maybe that's a tranny Pacific partnership. I don't know. But Ted Cruz is like a sellout tone. He's supposedly a Tea Party leader. That's another bunch of garbage. But, you know, if you look at the spirit of the, of the original Tea Party, they dressed up like Indians, American Indians or American Native Indians or whatever. American Indigenous Natives. What is the proper word? I don't know. They dressed up. Well, let's use the word Indians, but the ones that are from the United States that lived here, not the ones from India. I know that's not the proper word, but, you know, and they threw tea over the board that came from England because they didn't want to pay the tea tax. Tough shit. We dump it in the ocean. 
You know, today the equivalent of doing something like that would be to dress up like Muslims and do something against something you don't like. It's like this. Nobody rules. No one rules. No one obeys. And it took a lot of balls to do that, you know? <laughs> it wasn't like they labeled themselves a tea party. Oh, we're going to be a tea party. We're going to wave the flag. They did something. But they didn't go out there and protest in front of the freaking uh, the boat that was bringing the tea in. No, they threw the shit overboard. And they didn't get caught. Afterwards, they figured out, hey, wait a minute, those weren't Indians. They were talking English. <laughs> they are English people. They're, they were speaking English, and they are dressed like Indians. Wait a minute, that wasn't Indians. And by the time they figured it out, they were gone, and the tea was already in the freaking drink, you know, sink, sinking down, putting flavor in the bay. So, you know, you got to be like the men of honor. The men of honor is, uh, it could be the the big green machine. We call it the, uh, you know, the mafia in a green moot uniform, you know? We're out there to fight for oil, right? You know? The commander-in-chief says we got to get this oil back here on the U.S. shores. We're going to blow these guys up when you get it. That's what we do, right? But when they're telling you you're going to be over here and you have to wait for somebody to shoot at you, like in Afghanistan with, with Mr. Muslim terrorist Obama in office because he wants to freaking screw up our military. You know what I say to that? Disobey. I mean, where are you going to draw the line? You know, if the commander-in-chief told you you're out there on the ship, you're out there in the middle of shark-infested waters, well, the commander-in-chief says, I want you to go do some swim training right now, uh, some water survival training or something, and I want you to get in the water, and this shark's infested waters. Be, and you obey, because that's the commander-in-chief. <laughs> what, what are you, stupid? I mean, where are you going to draw the line? You know? If you're in the military, your job is to kill stuff. Plain and simple, okay? If they send you in an area of theater of war, hey, you know, <laughs> the enemy's out there, you see him, you whack him. It's not like, uh, you're not a cop, you're freaking, you take care of business when you're in the military. And that's one reason I did like Herbert Walker Bush, even though he's got some freaky things behind it in the background. But you know, I brought that out because it seems like the Bush people brought it out on Marco Rubio, that he was not only the bubble party, the phone party, whatever it was, he was uh, dressed in drag as a transsexual, and he had uh, the the mayor or something, or what, not the mayor, the uh, police chief in uh, Dade, Miami County or something was his hot date, and some, some, uh, somebody that was, uh, these are, I don't know if these are true, but it was rumors, okay, maybe it is true, because the, the Bushes are bringing it up, and also somebody in, um, uh, that was like a head of a church, and and he, he took all the money, though, from all his the people that took the donations, and he fled to Columbia in 1998 or something like that. That was like, so when Rubio was uh, supposedly dating him, he was the he was the girlfriend. So, but I guess you know it's no freakier than feminine, so whatever, you know. So here's the here's the. <laughs> so you know, and anyway, you know, this, if you look at this picture. There's always going to be a bank open somewhere, you know. Maybe the feminine will open up a bank. Where's the bank right there? Make a deposit. I don't know. Whatever. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, the economy never goes away completely. It, because when people get to, you know, push to the wall, they work. They work. I think, in, in, you know, the adjustment period is going to be horrible for some people because they're lazy. But the thing is, you don't want to just get out there and say, I'm going to put a protest sign and I'll be, I don't like this and I don't like that. You really, you know, you want to disobey the Nazi rules. You know, I think sometimes this country's got, I don't know where the hell it come from with these rules. They're, they're overdoing it. We never had so many stupid rules in this country not that many years ago. It's gotten ridiculous. Um... You gotta, you gotta freaking, you know, disobey it. And if people don't obey everything, oh well, fine. But that doesn't mean you, you don't be, you gotta be disciplined. 
got to be hard working you got to be industrious and you have to have work ethics so you know I'm not talking about disobey and be a lazy piece of shit I'm not talking like that because I got no respect for those kind of people but you know I guess this video is kind of a pep talk but I want to bring some middle of the ground stuff here because um you know on one side I'm really disgusted with some of the rumor monger stuff out there and you know once in a while I do put a video out about some strange stuff I pick up a story on about you know some I don't know pyramids in Antarctica or something and, and you know it's probably true you know I think it is true but you know I don't really push those type of stories but I notice they take off <laughs> because you know why is that because people got giddy minds man and, you know, I, know, I realize that there's YouTube people out there that are producers that totally cater to this shit, which I don't. I put some in it once in a while, but I don't, like, overdo it too much. You know, if I find it to be somewhat, if I find it to be, I think it's basically true, I'll put something out like that once in a while. But I don't delve into that shit too much. Uh, because I realize it's like people are doing that just to make money by, you know, pushing crazy ideas out there that, you know, gossip. It's, it, to me, it's very counterproductive. But if you get something out of this video, um, just remember that, not just to disobey, but it's almost like, you know, no one rules over us if no one obeys. They're counting on you to, like, totally trust your government. You know, these are people that are real religious are like that. That's what drives me nuts about them. I'm not, like, against them, but usually the real religious ones are the ones that just obey carte blanche anything that comes out of the government, as long as they don't, as long as they say, <laughs> we love Jesus or something. They'll, they'll kill everybody, you know, if they, and they get away with it. And, you know, the religious will be saying, oh, that's okay, because they're all on the side of God, and they, they love Jesus or something. You know, I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. A little common sense for crying out loud, right? So, but you know, when I'm talking about disobedience, I'm not talking about, you know, like I want to smoke dope and there's some crap, you know, oops, some people think I, I sound like I smoke dope, dope, but I never have. Um, you know, I don't need to. <laughs> Probably naturally high. <laughs> but the thing is, um, you know, it's like, people that disobey and just are lazy because they don't want to do anything and they want the government to hand things to them and they want to live a free lifestyle without working <laughs> get the hell out of here they're bullshit they're bullshit it's not that's not the type of disobedience i'm talking about i'm talking about the type of disobedience like uh you know alex uh, xavier hollander would do you know the, the happy hooker you know, she had a, she didn't, she, uh, was, she just <laughs> indulged in her trade and she didn't pay any taxes. <laughs> I mean, something like that, you know, I don't know. But, you know, it could be anything like that. I mean, sometimes people, you know, if they're, they're hard workers or whatever, you know, they're out there buffing cars or something for, I don't know, I'm going to buff the car and put the wax on it for 50 bucks or some shit. Yeah, you know, what the hell, right? Cash transaction right that's uh, you know had fifty dollars expenses anyway right <laughs> yeah it was fifty dollars worth of wax so you know the thing is that's that's what you got to do because it, it's like they're taking so much out of people right now it's like they ain't even got enough for it to make ends meet so people are gonna have to disobey some or else they're not gonna survive and that, that's a big difference between disobeying a corrupt garbage system with a bunch of blood-sucking leeches on the top that are, you know, living high off the hog and doing something like that versus just disobeying because you don't want to work. There's a big difference between the two. And you know what? It really comes down to if you don't give to the two bigs on the top that are doing nothing, that are sucking all the blood out of everybody, and, well... They don't rule over you. That's all there is to it. So that's my message.